Gabby and I packed our bags to go to Hawaii. We, on behalf of Brain Education TV, got invited to speak to 7th and 9th graders at Nanakuli Intermediate School on the island of Oahu. We were scheduled to give stress relief meditation tips to the students based on brain education. And Il Chili was going to give a keynote speech in Honolulu about the human brain and our connection to ourselves, each other, and nature. We were so stoked at the opportunity since he doesn't come to the US often, so we just had to attend and learn more about brain education from the founder himself so we can share it with you guys on this channel. After a quick layover stop in LA, we were finally off to Hawaii. The event was held at Hawaii Convention Center in the main hustle and bustle of Honolulu. A local taiko drumming group kicked off the event with powerful drumming mixed with fluid tai chi movements in their performance. A Hawaiian priest offered a prayer to invite the ancestral spirits of the Hawaiian people to bless the event space. It was my first time experiencing one in person, so I thought it was really cool. We heard testimonials from local Body and Brain Yoga Center members who've practiced brain education and shared about their personal healing stories. We even practiced some brain education exercises together with the crowd. Can't forget those at a brain education event. After a much anticipated wait, it was finally time for the main keynote speech by Il Chili. Since we were in Hawaii, he shared his speech by talking about the Aloha spirit and its relation to enlightenment. Alo means sharing in the moment, and ha is breath or life. So literally, aloha means sharing life in the present, which Ilchi commented is the essence of enlightenment. Aloha! That's me trying to share my energy with you in the present. Did you feel it? Yes? No? Okay, well, back to the story. The scenery in Hawaii is crazy beautiful to look at. Lush green trees everywhere show evidence of bountiful water all around that has kept life here so alive and fresh. This was a refreshing change of scene for us since we live in the dry desert of Phoenix, Arizona. These are some of the beautiful scenes we drove by. I mean, look at that beautiful green mountain with the fog rolling in. Doesn't it look majestic, like something out of a movie? The next day, we went to Nanakuli Intermediate School, which I have to say is the most beautifully situated school I've ever seen. The school is nestled within a mountain from the back and faces the ocean in the front. In feng shui, that's the most ideal placement of a home. So knowing that, we appreciated the school on a different level since a school is, in a sense, the home for education. I shared with the students brain education-based exercises and meditations to quiet their minds. At the same time, these exercises help balance the left and right brain hemispheres to work together in harmony. We did pinky thumb exercise, clapping exercises, and other hand movements that challenge their left and right brains to communicate with each other and create balance. After a few tries, we invited some students up to present the movements in front of the class. Some were shy at first, but through encouragement from their classmates, they were able to overcome their fears of going up to the front and being vulnerable in front of their classmates. It was a great time of learning, playing, and most importantly, experiencing the neural connections at work within their own body. We had a chance to sit down with some of the students to ask them what their thoughts are about mental health amongst teenagers. People with mental health issues, sometimes they go to drinking just to like, you know, relieve stress, but that's not how you do it. A lot of kids commit suicide nowadays because of loneliness. They never notice that they're not alone. I feel like it's more like depression that gets the better of teenagers and that it's hard to control, and then you feel like you should tell people, but then you're also ashamed that, of what they might think of you. In our age group, I think that people should start reaching out to each other, and like they shouldn't be ashamed of having to go through these problems. Try your best to like be yourself and find others who are there to help you, make you feel better, feel more you. Hawaii is such a beautiful place where the aloha spirit is alive. The nature and scenery was beautiful, of course, 
but the aloha spirit of the people who showed us so much generosity and hospitality was the most beautiful of all. As we reflected on our time there, we realized the urgency of mental health solutions for our youth. Loneliness, depression, and anxiety. Everyone deals with them, and yet no one quite knows how to tackle them at their roots. If you work at school or know of a school, maybe even yours, who needs solutions for mental health in youth, let us know. We travel around the country sharing our tips to students and want to get as many people to take back their brain as possible. Maybe even this guy behind us who has no idea he's gonna be on a YouTube channel will find this video when he's older someday and invite us to our high school. Well, until then, so long. <laughs>